Hey, what's up? Jin here from Code and Quick Tips, and in this video, I will show you how to use your Java program to take and save a screenshot of your screen. To do this, we will just use a new empty main class in which we will use a class called Java Robot to take the screenshot. So, to start off, we first need a robot object, so we can say robot robot equals null, and then we need to init our robot. But right now it will show up an error because yeah, the robot is not imported, so hover over and import it. As a next step, we will need to init the robot, so robot equals new robot. That will create the robot, but also show up an error because the creation of a robot can fail, so we need to surround with try and catch. After that, we can work with our robot object and we will need a method called robot.createScreenCapture. That method will take a screenshot of a given position or a given rectangle on the screen and it will return us the screenshot as a buffered image. So the method takes a rectangle as an argument, so we give it a new rectangle as an argument and that rectangle defines where the screenshot is taken. So First, there is the position of the top left corner of our screenshot. So if I say, for example, 0, 0, it will start our screenshot at our top left yeah, um, screen corner and send the size of the screenshot. So, yeah, let's say, or the endpoint of the screenshot. So let's say from 0, 0 to um, 200, 200. Um, we also need to import the rectangle. So, there we go. Now we have created a screenshot using the robot, but we yeah, actually need a variable to save our image so that we can save it later on to our disk. To do this, we will need a buffered image. And I'll call mine I. So, we also need to import the buffered image. So, hover over and import. And after that, we can use the image i to save the result of the robot's create screen capture method. Now we have a variable called i in which we saved our screenshot. Um, now we want to save it on our yeah actually on our disk on our PC. And to do this, we will need a file. And I'll just call this output or something. Yeah, output and set equals a new file and the file takes a string a string um, yeah a string as an argument and the string is actually the path to the file that we want so in my case I will save it relative to my project so it will later on appear in yeah that project folder and I'll call mine yeah let's say save.png and I will save it as a PG we also need to import the file, so hover over and hit import. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and typing error. So now we got our output file, and then we can use a standard function of Java called image io, that's the class which we will use, and then we call write. And that method will take first, yeah, our image, so i. Since the format, in my case, png, because I save it as a .png, and since the output file, so, yeah, output. With that method, we basically save the image to our disk, but, as always, if you save something to the disk or work somehow with the disk of the computer, something can fail. For example, we could have no rights to write in, yeah, in that part of the disk or something else. So we need to surround with try and catch again. With that program, we will now take a screenshot from um, the top left corner of my screen to the coordinates 200, 200. So if I hit run here, it takes a while, and then if I look up in my project folder, it shows me the save.png. And if I open it, I have created a screenshot. That's quite all. We can also move the screenshot around. So let's start with 100, 100, there we go, 
and now we have created and screenshot here or oh, let's say 200 200 to set and there we go so you can see that um, the first two coordinates are the beginning of the actually um, yes the beginning of the screen capture and those two are the size of the screen capture if you now want to record the or to get a picture of the whole screen you can start at 00, zero and end at the screen resolution to make this a bit more dynamic we can use some Java functions to get the screen resolution so I've provided this here because that shouldn't be the main theme of the video um, don't worry the code will be in the description we use the Java toolkit to get the dimensions of the screen and through that we can say dim dot width and here we can say dim dot highest and through that we can capture the whole screen so wait a moment and take a look there we go that's a whole screenshot completely created with those few lines in java I hope you enjoyed the video, I will put the whole source code in the description, so don't worry about typing all this stuff. Yeah, as always I hope you enjoyed and I hope you, I will see you in the next video.